What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play Quantum Conundrum. So in the last episode we got to this flooded corridor and well, looks like we're gonna have to make our way all the way around here like, well, like the professor said. So, um, let's get started I guess. Not really sure what to do here but I have access to slow-mo and reverse grab so probably just some platforming like so. Okay. Cross there. I can do that, simple enough. Got to get down to get up? Well, wait, that's not how that goes. I actually have no idea what you were referencing. I'm not exactly like the biggest uh, sort of information booth when it comes to, I guess, music references. I'm assuming that that was a pop culture like music reference. Not exactly sure what that was. Um, maybe someone could point it out in the comments. That'd be helpful, I guess. Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? I want to get over there. Uh, probably not going to be able to make that jump. Whoa. Watch out for that thing. Um, oh. Oh, okay. I think I got this now. I think I got this. What I want to do is get a safe up here, bring it all the way around, and then use it as a platforming. Use it as a platform so I can platform over there using slow mo. And let's put this scientific theory to the test. See? Look at that. I could be a scientist too. Hi Ike, how you doing? Just gonna just gonna sit there? That's fine, whatever. Do your thing. Um looks like we have to do the same thing over here as well. This time whoa, there's a safe all the way over there. How did that even happen? Whatever. Alright, we have two safes this time though. Not sure if I'm actually gonna need both of these, but whatever. Might as well make use of them now that we have them. And Ike, you are making some strange noises. And Good there thing. we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. See, this whole science thing isn't hard. Even I can do it. And I'm like a 12-year-old boy or something like that. Alright. Um, looks like we're going to do the same thing again over here. I thought this area was going to be a lot harder than it is, actually, believe it or not. So, I'm kind of happy that this is sort of very simple. I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. And one more time. This time with feeling. Let's, uh, let's get over there. Well played. Thank you very much. Your puzzle are no match for me, dude. I'm just blazing through these guys. Wow. What are the chances of those two safes actually, like, landing like that? That's pretty insane. Alright, I can dig that. I can dig that. Oh, and there's the door right there, so... Let me guess. One more time. Oh, crap. That sort of unexpectedly happened. That's, that's a shame. Now I'm not going to be able to use that safe, so I'll have to wait for a new one. All right, I should have saw that coming. That stupid pipe. All right, whatever. Let's just make sure it doesn't happen to this guy. All right, and let's make this jump. Come on, this is actually going to be a tricky one. Yes, well played. Thank you very much. Let's get through here. And it looks like we have another loading room. Nice. I love loading. Who doesn't? It's like the greatest thing ever. All right, there we go. Through the glass flooring. All right, so, well, let's see what we have here. Uh, fluffy battery, going to need something heavy to do that later on. Um, what are you going to give me? A box. That somehow, I don't even, whatever, I'm just going to walk away from that one. What are you going to give me? Safes, okay. And what is over here? Glass and conveyor belts and over there. Actually, we can go over there now, so let's go look at that real quick. I want to find out exactly what we need to do before I actually start this puzzle. This one looks rather complex. Alright, wait, so we have a laser robot. It's not turned on right now, so hopefully it stays that way. And... This goes to the door. Okay, cool. So... Oh, what's over there? Hang on. And there's a heavy battery over there. Nice! Okay, cool. I believe that there are mm, three safes down there, if that helps. All You're right. gonna need that heavy battery. Okay, cool. I figured as much. Great. I can, I can totally do this. Let's just grab that battery now. And put it in the receptacle, because we're going to need this. Whoa, Ike, that is a very scary noise you got going on there. And yes, there we go. Sweet. Alright, so Don't now... Don't let your emotions get in the way of a clearly logical solution. Clearly logical. I'm going to reset that box. I'm a feeling, I have a feeling that it's going to need to be in the center for whatever reason. Um, oh, okay. Looks like... Let me see if this actually works. Isn't geometry fun? 
It is fun, actually, and that worked out really well. Although, oh wait, no, I can still grab this now. I just have to switch dimensions. I am silly. I forget that I have the ability to do that sometimes. Sweet, there we go. Now we have our battery. Get in there. Alright, and... Now I'm going to assume that I want to put the safes over on the glass conveyor belts. And they're going to go over here. Then I will sort of slow-mo them up and platform across the door. Right, that sounds like a logical solution. Let's test my theory. Cool. Alright, one... I kind of want to make sure that these are lined up almost exactly, because I have a feeling that will make a big difference if they aren't lined up exactly right. Whoa. Come here, dude. Is that a generator or something? Oh, that's cool. It's actually spinning around in there. Alright, cool. Um... Alright, they're just about on the line. Let's just... Yeah, that should do it. Alright, cool. Now, we just need to go to the other side and see what happens. I don't know why this laser robot is here. Perhaps if you bring something through there, it shoots it, but... That's the only reason There's I... There's a clean zone perimeter here. No objects over the threshold. Oh, well, I guess that answers my question. I was right. Cool. Uh, they're a little bit off. Hopefully that doesn't matter too much. Um... How am I going to go about doing this, though? This one's actually going to be a little bit confusing. So, I probably want them to go in the air first. Hit slow-mo, then hit the button, then platform across. That seems like it would be the right thing to do, I guess. So, let's do that. And jump in the doorway. Hopefully this works. Get through the door. Oh, yes. Perfect timing. It wasn't exactly perfect, but I'll take it nonetheless. It was good enough for me. Ah! Look out! <laughs> Just kidding. Sir, that was probably one of your worst jokes you've made this entire game. I am disappointed. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Nothing but that. Alright, so let's see. Um, lasers, we have fluffy and reverse grab. So let's do that, I guess. Oh, wow. Wow, I could have just put it on, on Fluffy and it would have just disabled everything. Okay, what's the point of that actually then? Why, why would you give me Fluffy when that sort of just negates the whole purpose of everything? Silly, silly laboratory. Hey, remember those Electro-Vat contractions? Yes, well, they still do the same thing. Oh, I'm good. Good, I like it when things stay the same. I, I hate change. It's annoying. Ah, that's why they gave me Fluffy so I can actually use... Does that thing really say... It really says science ball on it. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> All right, cool. Um. Oh, and he, I think. Yep, I get to use reverse grab to sort of put these in the uh, containers. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. These things emit a lot of light too. I don't know why. This is actually a really cool idea. That's so awesome because you can sort of just like hang time and after you throw it. That is pretty sick, if I do say so myself. I like that mechanic a lot. I'm surprised that this is, like, the first major time they've used it, I think. Eh, whatever. And is that gonna nice go over it? Time. Oh, nice. Went right in. Three for three, man. Oh, Apparently, I'm good at that. What do you mean, good enough? I did that, like, perfectly, dude. Alright, and it looks like we have a new painting over here. Um, No dialogue? Yes? No? <laughs> it looks like Candyland and Fluffy. And it looks like everything's blowing up in reverse grab. Cool. All right, whatever. Let's just ignore that for now and continue on. This area of the manor is rather fantastic, isn't it? I got to admit, I quite like it a lot. It's there really cool. There is nothing like good old-fashioned human ingenuity and determination to get the job done. That's what I'm saying, man. That and robots. Yeah, robots help. Robots help because, you know, you don't want to do everything yourself. You want to make sure the robots do some work. Whoever built it, dealt it. Alright, I see what you did there, game. You're very clever with your puns and whatnot. Um, let's see what we have. No, 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 that's gonna get destroyed. Well, I didn't get to save that. What do we have over here? Some chairs, some books. No secrets. I'm keeping my eye out for that last blueprint. I don't wanna sort of lose that. And also awkward noise machines, I would like to find those as well. All I have is reverse grab, so I'm gonna just do this. That was... Simple enough, actually. Cool. That worked out a lot better than expected. Although that didn't work out at all. Let's try that again. Ta-da! There we go. Not so bad. Conveyor belts. Yes. I see them everywhere. So, lasers. 
I once knew someone who retrofitted a laser pointer to achieve a focal point of less than one one thousandth of an inch. I must say it was rather impressive and certainly sliced through several materials, including his own toes, like a hot knife through butter. Ew, that's kind of gross, and why did you sound so excited about that? The man cut off his own toes! It's kind of disgusting, actually. Ooh, well, hello, fluffy battery. I definitely wanted to get you into that receptacle over there. Um... Oh, I see. We're gonna have to do a whole bunch of this gravity-ness with just reverse grav. Seems easy enough, I suppose. Might as well get started. And over the wall. Under the nice. wall. Thank you. Oh, okay. There's reverse gravity belt or conveyor belts on the top. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. Well done. Or not harder at all, actually. That was kind of easy. Cool. Yes. Yes, I know. It's very good. Ah. I don't even- why are you just randomly saying words? That's kind of creepy. Oh, this one's gonna be a little bit difficult. Ooh! Actually, never mind, that was kind of easy. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Superb! That was actually probably one of the easiest things I've done in this game. That was kind of ridiculously easy, actually. I expect that to be a lot harder. Although, what do I actually need this safe for? Not sure. Uh, oh, there's a doorway up there. Okay, cool. That's what I need it for. I can do that. I can dig that. But first, this painting. Anything? Wow, it's literally completely gone in reverse grab. That's funny. Alright, cool. Um, on top of the doorway. That works for me. Totally. I'm probably not going to need that safe for anything. Whatever. Let's just uh, go to the next puzzle. There are an excessive number of flooded areas in this sector. I didn't realize it had progressed this far. Maybe you should fix it. This looks like... This is very deja vu. We've been in a room like this before. Although... Can't really complain. I mean, it's it's a loading room, so... I don't really care that it's copy-paste. It's sort of just here so I can... Some of the mainline science juice pipes must have been compromised. Should probably fix that. But yeah, this is just here to run through, so... Oh, and I wouldn't recommend having a drink. Science juice is not potable. Trust me. So you don't really see them too often, so I don't mind that there's repeating sort of loading rooms or mid-stage rooms, but whatever. To the next test, or puzzle, rather. Any day now. Thank you. Flipping out. All right, but I'm going to call the episode here. So once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next episode.